Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. A Houston County School Board candidate and his wife are questioning what happened after the County Board of Elections disqualified him this week. The board says they disqualified Clyde Jackson because his wife is a district administrator. But as Anthony Montalto tells us, the Jacksons say that's not the case. The Jacksons say they're frustrated they got through the primary election before anyone complained to the Board of Elections. And they say the reasoning they got for the disqualification doesn't make any sense either. The Board of Education is telling a bunch of lies. That's how Clyde Jackson sees his disqualification. And beyond frustration, it leaves him and his wife, Tracy, puzzled. Why didn't they address my wife? Because she works down there with them, first of all. Second of all, they have my number because my name was on the sub list. And then we could have handled this and we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in. Tracy Jackson does work for the district on a part-time basis, helping teachers be more effective. Go in, we model for them. Um, we assist and support them with collabor collaborative planning. But that position, less than 20 hours a week, is still the basis for her husband's disqualification. According to Georgia law, you can't run for school board if someone in your family holds an administrative position in a school district. Tracy Jackson used to be a principal, but her new job doesn't involve any administration, she says. That was the first thing I said is that I don't, I'm, you know, when I come out of administration, I don't want to do anything administratively. The Jacksons aren't the only ones wondering what happened. Houston County's NAACP president says he thinks the decision was rushed. They wanted to come in at the last, uh, at a runoff election and talk about um, disqualifying a, uh, a candidate. And that's not how this should have worked. Now, the Board of Elections is scheduled to have an emergency meeting Thursday at 5 p.m. Their notice does not specifically mention Jackson, but it does say that they will discuss a candidate's disqualification. In Perry, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. Clyde Jackson told Anthony the school district's deputy superintendent texted him congratulations when he qualified in March. He says until now, nobody from the district brought up his wife's job as a possible problem. Now we asked the school district if they brought the official complaint to the Board of Elections. So far we haven't heard back. 